welcome to the best cap cut masterclass. In our last video, we added transitions and captions to our project. If you thought that was great, then watch this entire video to learn techniques that will improve your videos and help grow your channel or social media. To start off, let me show you how to group or ungroup different elements on the timeline. For instance, if I want to move one of my clips somewhere on the timeline, to make it easier, I'll turn off the magnet. If I want to move this particular clip somewhere else, unless I select the logo as well, the logo will be left behind. To prevent this, grouping comes in handy. So I'm going to undo all the changes, then select the two clips that I want to group by simply holding the control key and left clicking. Right click and select where it says group or press control plus G. Important information will be displayed, telling you to double click on a clip in a group to edit it individually. If you simply click once and try to make changes, you'll see that all the clips in the group are affected. But if you double click, you'll be able to make individual changes. Now, anytime I want to move the clip, all the clips in the group will follow along. And if you want to ungroup, simply right click on one of the clips and choose ungroup. Then the clips can be moved individually. Now that we have that out of the way, it's time to rewatch our video so we can have an idea of what to do next. To master anything in life, whether it's a school subject, soccer, YouTube, or even software like CapCut, you need to put in the work. Practice and continuous learning are what will set you apart from others. Okay, I noticed that my first clip is too noisy, so let's fix that. Select the clip on the timeline, hover to the right menu, and scroll down. Turn on the Reduce Image Noise option. It'll take a few seconds, and then you'll notice some changes in your clip. If I want a smoother video, I can change the noise reduction level to strong. Now you can easily see the difference between the before and after of the image noise reduction. That's an amazing tool that most of you should be using. Now let's start with sound design. Usually I decide on the music or beats before I even create the video. The first sound effect I want us to create is for this first transition. Make sure the playhead marks the beginning of the transition. Hover to the top left and click on audio. The first option on the left menu is music. You can click on it to see different genres of music. However, I don't recommend using CapCut music for your YouTube or Instagram videos as you could end up with a copyright claim. Personally, I get my music from either the YouTube library or Epidemic Sound. You can click on the link below to avoid any copyright issues with music. Under music are sound effects. CapCut offers basic sound effects that can get most jobs done. I've already marked my favorite sounds that I use frequently. You can click on sound effects to reveal all the categories. Let's click on transition and test out if there's a sound effect that works well with the first transition. After listening to a few options, I decided to make things easier by checking my favorites folder. I've chosen to use the deep whoosh sound effect. Simply drag and drop it onto the timeline. Just make sure that the loudest part of the sound aligns with the middle of the transition. You can trim the excess for a smoother sound and be sure to add a fade in and fade out effect to make the sound gradually increase and decrease in volume. Life, whether it's a As you hear, we have a bit of a problem. The sound is too loud. Let's decrease the volume so that the voiceover can still be heard. I'll keep the volume below minus 10. You can also adjust the volume by holding and moving the horizontal line up or down. Always play back your video to see how you can improve it. Don't just rush through things. Whether it's a The sound effect is starting a little earlier than the transition, so I'll move it forward to match the animation. Now for the second transition, let's go back to the sound effects and search for particles. Well, I tried several sounds but didn't find any that worked well. Although it's easy to find such sounds on Artlist or Epidemic Sound, let's try to be creative and use a water bubble sound effect instead. I'll click on the search bar, where I can immediately see my search history, and click on water bubbles. After listening, I found one I liked, marked it as a favorite, and then clicked on the blue plus button, or simply drag and dropped it to the timeline. First, I'll cut out the parts one don't need, and place the part one need right under the transition. Just like before, Let's add the fade in and fade out effects and reduce the volume. YouTube. Although there's no transition between these two clips, it looks fine with the rough cut. However, since the logo is animated, we need to add a sound effect for it. 
I think a whoosh wind sound effect is the best option for this. Let's add it to the timeline, adjust its position, and decrease the volume. YouTube, or even... The next transition is a little tricky for me to get into cap cut, but let's just add something that sounds good to the ears. I think using the remembering whoosh is the best option for this transition. If you're not a professional sound designer, don't go overboard. Keep things simple and always observe how sound design is used in movies or other YouTube videos. This will help you improve your content. I also added another whoosh sound for the CapCut logo. Cut. You need to put in the word. For clips without transitions, I have a little trick to make them more interesting. Just search for a click sound. For example, let's add a mouse click to the timeline, cut the rest, and keep only the part you need. Make sure the sound effect is in the middle of both clips and don't forget to adjust the volume. You need to. I'll copy the click sound effect and paste it on the next two cuts. For the last sound effect, I knew I was going to use a camera shutter sound. Now let's zoom out on the timeline, place the playhead at the beginning, and rewatch the video. To master anything in life, whether it's a school subject, soccer, YouTube, or even software like CapCut, you need to put in the work. Practice and continuous learning are what will set you apart from others. I added a slow whoosh sound before and after the camera shutter. After replaying the clip a few times, I adjusted the volume as needed. Now I'm going to add music, as I mentioned earlier. Unless it's TikTok, which is why you have the option to link your TikTok account to CapCut, since they are all under the same company. I've just imported some music that I downloaded from Epidemic Sounds. Let's listen to them by hovering over the song and pressing the space bar on the keyboard. Right off the bat, I know I'm going to use this music, but we can try the others. Let's try adding this song to the timeline. Reduce the volume to below minus 20. To master anything in life, whether it's a school subject, soccer, YouTube, or even- I feel like the song is a bit too much of a fighting or action track, so let's go with the first one. I'll cut it exactly at the part we want to keep. Make sure to reduce the volume and adjust the length. Add the fade in and fade out effects. Master anything in life, whether it's a school subject, soccer, YouTube, or even software like Cap. Now it's time to add some visual effects. Hover to the top left and click on effect. There are two options. Let's start with body effects. These effects are applied to specific parts of the body. For instance, if I pick the lightning eyes effect, it will only work if it detects eyes in the clip. And I must say, CapCut is very good at detecting and tracking objects. When you add it to the timeline, it creates its own layer, and anything below this layer will be affected by the effect. Just for the purpose of this video, I'll use this effect on a scene featuring a hardworking father. It makes him look cooler, like a Marvel superhero. Let's go overboard and add the lightning sound effect for this particular scene. I also decided to add an electricity sound effect, since he's working with glass and metals. Back to the effects tab, there are quite a few options available in the free account. You can hover over any effect to see what it does. To make things easier, always click on the effects subheading to find effects based on their categories. Let's close this for now, because I have more cool things to show you. Click on video effect. Let's use the noise to effect on our video. I'll adjust the length so it affects the entire video. Next, under the trending effects, I'm going to use the rebound swing effect to create that cool slow motion camera movement in my video. Whenever an effect is selected, details will appear in the menu on the right. Make sure to play around with them until you are satisfied with the result. Note that each effect has different details that you can control. For the first frame, I also want to add a small zoom in effect. Let's drag and drop the zoom lens effect and adjust the details. For the last frame, I found a nice retro effect that I've added to the timeline and I've adjusted the details. I decided to extend the length of the last clip along with the music, so it ends two seconds after the voiceover. This way, the video doesn't have a sudden ending. One last thing we can do is add a fade out effect to the last video. Select the video, hover to the top right menu, click on animation, select out animation, and choose fade out. Alternatively, you can use Kira Magic if you have it. Now let's play our final result 
Then I'll tell you about the next video. To master anything in life, whether it's a school subject, soccer, YouTube, or even software like CapCut, you need to put in the work. Practice and continuous learning are what will set you apart from others. Thank you so much for watching these tutorials. In the next video, I'll start teaching you some advanced features that I've prepared. I'm also going to need some ideas from you guys to tailor my videos to your interests. Make sure to comment on which topics you're struggling with in CapCut and which creator's editing styles you'd like me to cover in future videos. Drink some water, and I'll be back before you know it.